Yesterday's dynamics in the currency market are a real puzzle for analysts, which is not easy to solve. Retail sales in the euro area fell at a faster pace compared to the previous months, which signals a growing risk of the European economy slipping into recession. Nevertheless, the market rebounded slightly once the American trading session opened. After all, retail sales fell by 0.8%, accelerating compared to a 0.4% decline in November, which was revised from a minus 1.1%, while consensus estimates suggested a 1.3% drop. In other words, the data was much better than expected. Moreover, the previous figures were revised upwards. Although the bullish correction could have been stronger, and we should bear in mind the deteriorating economic climate in the euro area, and this had some dampening effect on the euro. With the dollar still in overbought territory, the correction is likely to continue, albeit slowly. Moreover, the macroeconomic calendar for the rest of the week is empty, and thus the market will gradually resolve imbalances unless there are some unexpected news releases. According to the euro dollar chart, short interest fell near the local low of 1.0720 posted in December last year, and this allowed the euro to recover some of its early losses. If the market correction continues, the European currency will most likely return to the 1.08 mark. In a beer case scenario, the, mark, uh, the euro will extend weakness if the price fixes below 1.07. Meanwhile, the pound dollar pair slowed down its downward move at around 1.25. As a result, the volume of short positions decreased, with the price bouncing back to the lower boundary of the 1.26 and 1.28 channel. From a technical point of view, rise in the British pound can be seen as a breakout pullback from the previous sideways channel. The 1.26 level can act as a resistance, and in this case the volume of short positions may increase again, with the asset resembling a bearish trend. Alternatively, the price may consolidate above 1.26 by the end of the week and thus keep in a downtrend. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to the channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading session.